Hey guys, something just came to mind and I want to elaborate a little bit more. I'm talking about sensationalism on Christian YouTube channels. Um, if you didn't, haven't seen the other video I made first this morning, please go watch it first. But um, for me, uh, if if someone is basing their channel on sensationalism, I I unsubscribe, and I I just can't. I can't. I. It's just, I don't get into that. You know, I don't like to be, to me it's cheap. It's cheap and it's, uh, we need to be grounded in truth. And so here's an example. Um, a few years ago, someone, it's a channel I had been subscribed to that had done fairly well, but and they reported that the Pope had like written his own Bible and changed what it said in it. And um, I had told my husband that. I shared it with him because I thought I could trust a Christian channel to report the truth. And then come to find out it wasn't true. It hadn't happened. And, you know, that made me lose. Uh, then, you know, it makes you lose... Um, can't even think of the word right now. It's too early in the morning, but you know, then people just aren't going to believe what you say. Um, and that really hurt me. And so I told the lady, hey, you know, that's actually not true. You know, you should do your research before putting this out here. And her, instead of taking the thing down or doing a correction video or apologizing, she said, well, it doesn't matter because, you know, he is a false prophet and he's bad and he's evil. So basically the end justifies the means. So if someone is, is evil or the other things they say are wrong, then you can just make up all kinds of other stuff about them and bear false witness as well, you know, and that's bad in and of itself. So the ends do not justify the means. You know, even if the vaccine is nefarious, or if it is bad for you, you uh, manipulating people's opinions to sway in that direction with something other than facts is just being irresponsible. And... Uh, if you think it's okay to lie to people or sensationalize or anything like that, to me that's just not not proper Christian behavior. You know, again, it's not being sober-minded, it's not being grounded in truth, it's manipulation. So I just wanted to uh, put that out there too. Um, there have been a lot of channels I've unsubscribed from because they either reported fake news or they were just always, you know, like clickbait, sensationalism, and things like that. And it's hard for me to respect people like that. And I just think that we should do better, you know, as believers and set an example. Okay, I love you guys.